Do you want more great content from me? Check out the description box down below. Hi guys, it's Adam and today I've been out to the car boot sale. Now I've not done a car boot in about two or three months so I might be a little bit rusty but I think I did get a few nice little finds as well. I was actually selling at the car boot alongside my mum and dad. We both had a little bit of stuff so we decided to do a car boot together which was quite good because obviously that meant that they could look after the stall a little bit let me go out and browse and then I could look out after the stall and then they could have a browse as well. So that was quite good, it worked out quite well because it meant that I could actually get out and do a little bit of buying but obviously I missed some good good deals as well when we were first getting to the car boot and we actually did get there a little bit late on for selling or buying. Uh, I think we actually arrived at the car boot at like quarter past seven, half seven, something like that so it was quite late on. Um, but yeah, I still got a few nice finds so without further ado, I won't ramble anymore. Let's get on with the finds. I'm not going to do the whole green screen thing today because I just want to get this haul done. I've got packing to do, I've got listing to do, I need to uh, obviously process some of this stuff, get this stuff photographed etc. So we will get on with the haul just like old times. So this style of presentation with everything sort of just thrown on the bed like this will be very familiar to my older viewers or people who've been watching the channel for maybe a year or so. Um, obviously nowadays I just do the green screen haul so it's quite kind of basic this but I don't really have time to set up the green screen and plug the mic in and everything I just can't be bothered so it doesn't even actually take that long but I just really can't be bothered. Um, so yeah first item is this uh, Disney Wonderful World of Reading um, book and books. Um, there's only about I don't know eight or nine I think there is books there. Um, with this bag, but I actually got this, I paid £2.50, and I got this for the actual bag, I've never seen the bag before, and I'm going to actually, I've got some more Disney Wonderful World of Reading, so I'm going to do a larger bundle with the bag, maybe charge about 20 quid or something like that, once I've got a few more books in there, because, as I say, 8 or 9 books isn't really a big enough bundle for charging 20 quid, so I'm going to throw a few more books in there, charge 20 quid for that, nice little find, because I've never actually seen the uh, bag before, so that's pretty cool. Uh, next we've got this, I don't know if you're going to see it, but it is actually brand new and sealed, this logo board game. Um, and I'm going to be, oh, focus went off a bit there. Um, I'm going to be sending that up to Amazon come Q4. Uh, she wanted £5 for it, but I knocked her down to 4 um, Couldn't really get any lower than that. Um, and essentially, maybe about 20 25 quid up at Amazon. If Amazon were to sell out, then obviously I could whack it on for 30 quid. you know, in the hopes that Amazon were to sell out. And then maybe get 30 quid um, when, obviously, all the demand falls to third-party FBA sellers. But I don't know whether that's going to happen. So, conservatively, maybe 20, 25 quid, something like that. Next, we've got a standard pickup for me. Neil the Sofa, Sofa Works or Sofology plush toy. About £12, £12, £13, including shipping. And I paid two quid for that. So, nice little standard pickup there. We've got this. I'll actually hold this up. Um, we've got this embossed bottle. I don't know what it quite says on there, but it's some sort of brewery. Um, and it's got a lid. I'm not sure whether that's the correct lid or not. Paid two quid for that. Again, probably about 12, 13 quid, something like that. So, yeah, nice little standard pickup anyway. Now, I had a little bit of a weak moment. This is going to be less than, a, less than a tenner, actually, which I really shouldn't be doing. Um, but basically, he saw me looking at it, and then he said, Oh, do you want that? You can have that. And I said, Well, how, how much is it? And he said 50p, and I thought, Oh, you know what? I'll just grab it. Probably only going to be about 7, 8 quid, but I thought, You know what? It's a large letter job. I'll just buy it and just get it out. So, yeah, um, I bought that. Next, oh, actually, and Matt was, may as well move on to this next, because... He said, uh, why don't you pick up something else to make it up to a quid? Uh, the light's off a bit here. Let's turn it round a bit. Maybe I'll... I don't know. The lighting's still pretty bad there. But uh, it's basically a brownie. Now, I couldn't see any of these on completed and sold. But I didn't really do that much of a look. I just had a very quick look. And as I say, he said, make it up to a quid. And I said, is this okay to make it up to a quid? And he said, yeah. But it is a vintage one, so I don't know, there might be a tenner, tenner plus postage, something like that in that little toy there. But as I say, I don't know, I'd have to research that name a little bit more there. Probably from a TV show or something, I, but I've never heard of it, so I'm not 100% on that. Um, but yeah, that was that one. Next, we've got that rather we'll nice little uh, hand-carved wooden bowl. It's quite a nice one. I've had one of these before, but it was a larger one that I sold for 20 quid. Um, I actually paid a quid for this one. Probably going to get about... 
turn it around the other way because I think it's in a better angle there. Um, but I think I'm probably going to get about 12 to 15 quid for that one there. Might go 15 plus postage because I did undersell that last one that I had. And this one is still quite nice as well. So yeah, that one is there. That's quite a nice one. Uh, I'll just move around here so we can see the brass. So we've got this uh, brass bell, uh, um, Henry Winterman Cigars. It does work, but, um, you know, obviously it's not on the best surface to be working. Um, I actually paid four quid for this. He wanted five originally, but I thought it was quite cool. Now, I checked complete and sold, as I would have thought. There was nothing on there. I'm thinking that it's quite a unique item, so I'm going to go for 30 quid on that, um, and then I'm going to come down accordingly. So I might have to sell it for more like 20 quid or maybe 25, but I'm just going to go high and see if I get any half decent offers on that but yeah four quid for that pretty cool couldn't pass it up uh next something else pretty standard i had one of these a while ago and i got like 10 quid or 10 quid plus postage it's a hug me's and i only pick these up when we've got the tag tag on because that's uh the one that i sold the one that i sold had the tag on and as i say i think i got like 10 quid plus post so i thought pick that up that was 50p actually so that's pretty good um uh, actually i'll go on to these next uh, there was a woman who was clearing, um, basically, her mum and dad's, like, must have been a mum and dad's collection or something. And we were saying, like, everything must go. So I said, uh, you know, could you do me £2 on these little uh, candlestick holders? Uh, they're quite nice. They've got some sort of style on them. I can't work out what that style is. I've seen that little, it's kind of like a little, not a coat of arms, but there's something. It's not, um... I was thinking at first it was like a playing card style, you know, like the the um, clubs or something, you know, like spades and clubs and stuff. But then I was thinking, no, it isn't that. But I've definitely seen that kind of style before. And I said, would you take two quid? Uh, and they said, yes. Um, obviously, them saying first off that they wanted everything to go was an indication to me that they'll probably just take, you know, a, a half price or whatever. So I just uh, threw them a cheeky offer. And yeah, two quid for them, probably looking at, I don't know, 15 quid plus postage, I might go a little bit higher, maybe 20 quid plus postage, but they're not like, you know, they're not mega quality or anything, they're just pretty standard brass, but they're just, you know, nice design, so yeah, two quid for them, they were pretty cool, next was something that I have no clue on, it's an original piece of artwork by an artist called Suki, uh, done in 1999, um, you can see there it was down from eight qu uh, 10 quid to 8 quid and then I knocked him down to 6 quid as well. You can see it's got this rustic frame on there. I think this is this rustic frame is actually intentional um, and it really is quite a nice painting. That I do not know value. Um, I, it might be worthless. It might be worthless or it might be, you know, 50, 60 quid painting or maybe even more or maybe even less. I don't know. But it's a nice painting for what it is. I can see that there's good work gone into that. And um, kind of like odd paintings go for more money. So like, you know, just weird paintings can go for good money. So uh, yeah, I just thought it's quite cool looking painting that. And really nice colours. So we'll see on that one. I will have to do some more research. And I'll try and get back to you and see if it is actually uh, valuable or not. Um, finally, oh, also... Uh, on the story of the woman who was clearing stuff, there was a load of keys actually in a job lot. Um, and she wanted like two pounds. These were actually antique keys. These were really nice keys. But she wanted like two pounds each. And I couldn't stomach asking her to, you know, about a job lot price because I was thinking, oh, it's probably just going to be too much anyway. So I wander around for a while. And then when I come back, I see a man. Uh, who I know is a, a dealer who actually had a stall at the car boot uh, today as well and he was picking them up now I don't know the price um, he got for them but there, there must have been about a hundred I would, I would say about a hundred old keys there and I typed it in on eBay and we were going for like um, basically job lots of 10 or 15 keys go for about 10 pound plus postage so I was thinking oh my god there was probably about 80 90 quid worth of keys there so really annoying i should have just gone for it um on that little job lot in uh, on that store but instead of that i actually found another little job lot but you know i might have paid maybe five pound too much for or so but there's still going to be some good money in it uh, no they are not shoes by the way they are 
loads of these. Um, I don't know whether they're antique or whether they're just vintage. They're probably just vintage. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe 20s or 30s or something like that. But he said, uh, he said to me, they're not quite in focus there. But he said to me there must be about 50 or 60 of these in here. And they are old cardboard. Um, I think the matches or, cig no, cigarettes. They're actually for cigarettes. There's tons of them in here. I paid him £20 for the job lot um, after seeing that um, basically 10 of these on auction had got £10.50 plus postage. So I was thinking there's quite a large amount in there. There might be actually one in there that I can sell on its own. But even not, let's even if there's not, let's say there's maybe 40 or 50 in there. I'm going to get my money back and a bit of profit at least um, if I do them as a large job lot. So I thought I'd take a chance on them. But these are really cool, so... I'm not going to go through all of them, but obviously I can see what's further down in the box. There's loads of different... Oh, that looks cool, doesn't it? That one. That looks cool. That tenor one, that's pretty cool. But yeah, so there's loads of these in here. I'd say I'm not too sure on the age, but I, I, I think that they, they must be starting to come up on 100 years old. Got to be. If not, maybe they are 100 years old. I'm not sure, but yeah, really cool them ones. So... Um, as I say, um, I pro what I'll probably do with them is do them in two larger job lots rather than doing them, you know, in 10 for £10 or whatever. Probably do them in larger job lots and I might be able to squeeze a little bit more out of them um, if I do them in a larger job lot as well. So, um, yeah, quite cool. I'll have to go through these and see if maybe certain ones might be worth it individually. Um, but I was a little bit hesitant on these because I was thinking, you know, I did like the look of them and everything, but they're a little bit outside my comfort zone. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I love these things. I think they're cool, but it's just I've never really picked up anything too much like these before. Um, I've picked up a lot of metal tins, but I've never picked up any cardboard ones. So, yeah, quite interesting though. But you can see there's a lot in there. There probably is about 40 or 50 in there, to be honest. We just picked out almost 10 there and still quite a lot in there. So, yeah, pretty happy with those. Um, I don't know what I'm going to look to get back, but I, I would say minimum. There's got to be 50 or 60 quid there. So, you know, I'm going to get my money back and a little bit of profit on those. But I was really happy to find them. Um, sometimes it's not all about the money. Sometimes it's just about, ha you know, the fact that you're happy to find something as well. Um, he did actually want £1 each originally. Um, obviously, I said to him, I can't, look, I can't pay that. I'm sorry, I can't pay £1 each. And then he came back to me with 30 quid because he, he was estimating there was about 60 in there. Um, and then I said, would you take 25? And he did. Um, I'm thinking there's probably not 60 in there, hence why I'm saying to you there's maybe 40 or 50. Um, just because it doesn't look like there's 60, but, you know, you never know. Anyway, so that's that. That's my little haul for today. Some cool items, I'm sure you'll agree. And then some other standard items. And there is Electra having a sleep on the bed. So I will leave it there, guys, for this video. Thank you very much. And uh, if you did like it, if you did, did enjoy it, please do give it a like. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more videos on my channel. So I'll see you in the next one, guys.